Hey guys, um, Street Smart Joker here. Um, so the country um, is now under a 21 day lockdown. The Prime Minister just announced it uh, an hour back. Um, anyways, a um, lot of things to do uh, in this lockdown. Um, one of the positive things which I feel you can do is go through your collection, um, see, see the must reads um, and then uh, you know start reading them, uh, relieve the, all those happy moments uh, that you once had of reading them and uh, <clears throat> I would say it's a good time to um, you know shuffle up those collection uh, obviously after you stock up all your daily essentials for the next um, uh, three weeks uh, but but um, I just want to leave uh, this on a complete positive note because I feel a lot of negativity spreading around so I am um, what I dug up was this uh, this is um, a, a quite um, a somewhat an old edition this is uh, the DC comic uh, essential graphic novels which they keep publishing at different point of time. Uh, this is an o a little older version but I thought maybe just, just skip through to see what um, of this amongst this what uh, do I have in my collection because I ki kind of use this as a reference to see um, uh, which of these books are actually part of my collection and what, what are the classics uh, that I'm missing out on. Okay, number one is obviously uh, Watchmen right as you could see on the left and I have that book right here so that's Watchmen that's a tick mark there now the next one is uh, Batman the Dark Knight Returns <clears throat> so you could see that book is is right here in my collection um, so that's also another tick mark right uh, so I have the uh, this I think the 30th anniversary edition <clears throat> I had an older edition which I had read this is the new one which I have not read so it's still um, shrink wrapped uh, but definitely we'll get to reading that one um, Sandman is not something which has excited me so much so I've not picked out any of those so sadly uh, no nothing from Neil Gaiman so that's a uh, uh, cross Batman year one obviously who can miss out on that I have a deluxe edition of that right here right um, right it's a brilliant book and I love the fact that I have it in a deluxe edition and not just a uh, trade paperback. Um, I, I would love to have all of this in, in uh, deluxe or absolutes. Next is V for Vendetta. I do have it. Yeah, you could see that right there. Uh, I haven't read it. I have uh, the book with me for quite some time. Uh, do plan to read it. Hopefully by the end of this uh, lockdown, I would have completed and done a review of that uh, checkpoint for me. Uh, Alan Moore's A Swam Thing have heard a lot of stuff around this one. I don't have it, unfortunately. That's another... Um, cross for me there okay let's see two crosses out of uh, four five yeah fables no I don't have that as well I am not very big a fan of fables um, so not planning to pick that either so for those who doesn't know it fables brings out all the uh, famous literary characters back to life and put them in different situations that's how the story is however the story is pretty long they have multiple uh, books um, in a series so it's not just a one-time read, you have to continue reading it and that's one of the reasons why I just skipped it. Obviously, uh, Batman The Killing Joke, uh, no collection will be complete, especially for a Batman fan like me. I do have it, yeah, yeah, I do have it. And um, it's I do have it in two forms, actually, um, yeah, so this is the deluxe edition, as you could see. Um, and the other one which I have it is in the form of the noir edition. Simply brilliant cover, that one, right? So, yeah, so let's see uh, what's in store for us next. Um, just going through the pages. Okay, Why the Last Man? I definitely want to pick that one up. I heard it's a brilliant storyline. I do plan to do it. I don't have it right now. Uh, All-Star Superman from Grant Morrison is another one which I don't have. I have uh, uh, Superman Red Sun, uh, which is also I feel that should be featured in here. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have this one. Batman The Code of Owls uh, storyline, I have almost the entire storyline from the New 52, as you could see here, um, right? Um, I The, the Owl storyline, I loved it so much that I picked up even the Talon um, Owl storyline here, and you could see the rest of the series. Only thing I'm missing is, I think, Volume 9, Bloom. That is the only thing which I'm missing from this arc. I do plan to pick it up. So I do have that. Um, Kingdom Come, obviously I do have it. Um, I did have it right here. 
yes um, the only thing is i want to have this one especially anything to do with alex ross i would want to have it in a absolute edition um, most perfect right uh, for now i'll have to do with uh, uh, this uh, trade paperback but i do definitely plan to upgrade uh, at some point in time and for anybody who is trying to get it first time i would suggest you get any of the alex ross alex ross stuff uh, in absolute which is the best format in which you can get them next you have uh, batman the long halloween i am a big collector of uh, uh, jeff lob and tim sale uh, so i went on to get uh, uh, the long halloween obviously i got the haunted night as well as dark victory so i have all three and i think each one is is a classic in its own right uh, three brilliant books i will do a review of this uh, sometime uh, but i just love tim sales artwork as well as uh, jeff lobes writing uh, it's a pure delight for people who love mystery and uh, the detective work that batman uh, is up to right um, so a must have there let's see what do we have next the next one is uh, it's a pretty famous one this is also part of new 52 that is uh, justice league origin i do have that as well although i'm just confused where that is currently i definitely do have it um yeah yeah it's right here right here right um, it's like picking out a yeah brilliant book um, brilliant story uh, i do plan to pick up more of uh, the new 52 uh, because simply because um, jeff jones was simply brilliant in that both this one as well as i would suggest you to pick aquaman run from the new 52 which is also um, quite uh, brilliant and a must have um, next one we have here is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but I don't have it. Um, I think it has some two or three volumes. I will pick it up. That's also in my bucket list. Next one, Batman Earth One from Jeff Jones. I don't have it. Um, I read uh, it sometime back. I didn't feel it was uh, that brilliant, uh, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll get and do a reread. Uh, next two also, I don't have Green Lantern Rebirth, but I feel uh, more than Rebirth. Uh, and the next one is American Vampire by Scott Snyder. Uh, not in my plans uh, right now, but uh, let's see. But in any case, I believe Blackest Night is 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 far far better than Rebirth. Although I've not read it, I think this is a must-have for any DC. Uh, Blackest Night, uh, Brightest Day, all those. The entire run from uh, Jeff Jones on Green Lantern is a must-have, right? No question about that. Next one we have Hush. I just love the storyline. I love Jim Lee's artwork in this. Of obviously. Um, the the writing from Jeff Lobb couldn't get better of a story than this. It is like a uh, all all out commercial movie uh, in in the form of a book. So where do we find that? We find it right here, right? Uh, Batman Hush. I also have Heart of Hush, which is actually the origin story of Hush. So for people who are get, planning to get uh, Hush, I would definitely say that uh, get uh, Heart of Hush as well, right? So this is a uh, format exact format which is uh, sorry uh, which is which is shown here in the pages that i have i don't have identity crisis in the form of a perfect book i have it in the form of uh, singles from uh, gotham comics uh, so i'll show the those to you someday but i i want to get uh, the the tpb or sorry the graphic novel of uh, identity crisis i have another crisis which is obviously the infinite infinite crisis i also have final crisis as you can see so i love i like the crisis crisis on infinite earth for me i the artwork doesn't gel with me so i haven't picked that one up but most of the other kind of crisis i definitely want to pick up the dark knight metal which is also a new crisis that has come out i will definitely do that next one is joker um love the character and love anything to do with it i do have the book um right so that's the uh, hardcover one right there I also have Joker, The Death of the Family, which is also a brilliant book, uh, I feel. Uh, I have both of those. Next one is Wonder Woman, uh, Volume 1, Blood. I have uh, that one right here, right, as you guys can see. Um, in fact, I have um, more volumes of this run. I'm only waiting for the last, uh, I think, couple of volumes I'm missing on. It went from Volume 1 to 6, so I think I'm missing on 2 and 6, which I'll... I'll finish then, then I'll do a review for you guys. But uh, brilliant run, brilliant artwork, brilliant storyline. Uh, it brings all the Greek gods back to life. 
the last one in this list is superman earth one volume one i don't have it right um so from there we go on to the extras and uh, plus ones that you will have one uh, one you would see is justice league um, uh, the throne of atlantis i have uh, i don't have the justice league one but i have that in um in in aquaman uh, the throne of atlantis i have that book so um so i'm i'm still in the process of getting much much more books um, than um, what i've shown you guys here um, uh, but i just thought at least show you how i amass some of my collection and i thought this is the best way to do all those stuff right so thanks for watching uh, do subscribe and um, share the word stay safe bye bye